Welcome back everybody, I am Just Zack, and today we are going to have a look at King's Grave, a gloomy Metroidvania inspired and also classic Zelda inspired game where we are the king, the last survivor, because well as you can see quite something has happened and we are here now to restore our kingdom, to reclaim our birthright to lead. But I mean, we need something to lead, right? This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna have a look at this game's official playtest version. So very, very early on, the full game is supposed to come out sometime in the future, the day of this recording. And now without further ado, let's hit start. There's not even a settings menu. It's that early, but look at this art style here already. Awesome, I guess this is, are we being restored with this angelic creature? Maybe we were already dead. The last king. Well, we're gonna find out together, right? Oh, yeah, come back. We need you. Oh, I clicked outside. That's my Steam menu. Welcome. We need you. I did it. You're back. Who are you? Why am I alive? What's happened? Why are the runes all around? Um, I mean, apparently this implies that we knew we were dead, so let's go with that. Who are you? Wait, who was that glowing woman? And what the hell is going on here anyway? Okay, we don't know. That just happened. Do we have an options menu here? No, we don't. Okay, Z and X. Okay, Z seems to work on my German keyboard. Um, I hope the full game has Y and X here, because again, I like to mention this. Um, in the German keyboard, the keys Z and Y are switched. So this is a little bit uncomfortable, because, um, yeah, this is Y, this is X for me, and Z is all the way over there. So this is not comfortable. So we have some souls. We have, I guess, population maybe? because we are king. Day one, we have... Oh, we can swing our scepter. Nice, like a true king. At least our throne is still standing. That's pretty cool. Okay, we don't have any extra abilities. 50 HP. Can we go into the fire? We can't. That's a nice bonfire. We lit this. This gives me already, like, you know, a little bit, like, honestly, Dark Souls vibe, looking at this old runes here. And we, of course, know everything is a Souls-like nowadays. No original ideas anymore. Everything is the souls like. <laughs> well, we can test this right there. There's barrels. Can we roll through the barrels? Do we have a dodge roll? Not on space, though. Okay, but we can destroy them. Yeah, souls like, guys. This is glowing. Can I do something with that? Hmm. Okay, I think we can't advance there. Oh, I am weak. I will only speak of what's important. Who are you again and what happened here? Find survivors. Save them. Oh, there is survivors. That's nice. What's this? Broken bridge. To build, kill nearby enemies. I I would dare to say that this is not how building a bridge works, but I mean, we are just the king. What do we know, right? We have people that built for us. Maybe that's always what they did. They killed monsters. Okay. Cool animation of the enemy. like that. So we got this. We lit the bonfire. Or, well, the speaking next day. We, we, what do we mean next day? I don't want to go to next day. Or does it mean build? All right, we have this. Oh, grass. Can we cut the grass? We can't. Can't cut the grass. How's that even possible? Regardless, give me those. Dong, dong, dong. Can't destroy these boxes. Our oh, space would be nice, but I guess that is something we're gonna unlock. Okay, next day. Oh, can we walk over this? No, we can't. Next day. Start a new day. The king will be healed. Enemies will respawn in danger areas. I mean, why would I do this? We don't have a reason to right now, right? So let's build the bridge. We can do this. Okay, it takes four, whatever we picked up. Okay, we made advancement, but it seems... Oh, we have a switch! That's cool. Look at that animation. And we can even, yeah, redraw the bridge. That's cool. Does it mean we need to defend our king? Oh, we need materials for this, like a shovel. Okay, where do we get that? I keep trying to spare price because I hope <laughs> that's gonna do something. It doesn't. Uh, I'm the king! I am the king! You cannot defy me. I guess this bird here, you know, lights up all these torches. What's this switch? Aha! We did that. Oh, there's a shovel symbol. Worker camp allows you to clear the rubble. We need three people and one more wood. Here again next day. Why would I do this? Oh, your majesty, is it really you? Yes, my dear servant, which... I've never knew your name to begin with, so technically I never forgot it, so haha. <laughs> okay, we need another shovel for that. Where do I get a shovel from? Wait, citizen. I will come to rescue you. Oh, man. I usually have people for this. Why do I need to do this? 
Well, before whatever happened, oh man, my brain, I can't really remember. I used to, you know, execute a lot of my people, so maybe that was a mistake. Maybe I shouldn't have executed, you know, 60% of my kingdom just because I felt like it. Ah, man, maybe we would have a f Oh, this thing shoots at us. That's cool. Maybe then we would have a few more subjects actually, you know, defending the kingdom when it mattered. But how could I know, right? Oh, I hit it once, but I want it to be on the right side. Yeah, so we can't withdraw it. Okay, fair enough. I see you. You look cool. Nice enemy design so far. Click like a madman. Ow! Can I hold the button? Oh, I can't. Okay, fair enough. Two more slime. What is that? Oh, another shuffle. Man, we're, you know, my kingdom for shuffle. I don't have a kingdom. That's the joke. I don't have my kingdom anymore. I'm very sad about that. Okay, give me that. Give me that. Aha. Uh -huh. I need to... Oh, classic box puzzle. Oh, we need stone to move this, apparently. And we need a bow. Crossbow workshop produces a crossbow. Ooh. Oh, survivors. Nice. Well, first of this. Okay, so far we only need this to heal up, right? Hello, citizens. Barracks. That's new citizens. Yeah. New residents. Three new citizens joined you. Nice. Okay, we have them up here. And they are just... They are just there, I guess? In our inventory now? <laughs> would actually be cool if they would now move around. That we'd save them. I don't know. They would go and do something or so. Worker can allow you to clear the rubble. I guess. That's why we have three though, right? I suppose. I mean, it's right here. So I guess that is what we're supposed to do. Let's go. New building. You can now clear rubble. We have a shovel now. Nice. All right. With the power of my shovel. Oh, man, I'm Dutch. So bad. We're kind of slow. Not gonna lie. I mean, we have three citizens. I mean, we used to. We sacrificed them maybe for the shovel, but why do I... I'm the king. Why do I need to sh clear the rubble? How dare you? <sighs> you died 50 years ago. I know it's you, but how? I'm just as confused. How long do you say it has been? 50 years? So that's why it's all in shambles. Looks like the disease did not abate even after my death. You are right, your majesty. No cure has been found. Some simply survived. No one knows why. I'm one of the lucky few. What are you going to do? Well, look for survivors, I guess. I mean, we are the king. We don't guess. We are always certain. A king never guesses. A king's word is absolute. This is not my king. The writing of this... No, I don't, no, do not agree here. I'd be happy to help you with this. If you find the materials to fix my house, I will draw you a map. I'm the freaking king. You remember me. Why would I fix your house? You, I'm gonna execute you. The, the moment I don't need you anymore, you will suffer. I'm gonna put you down. I'm gonna, I don't know, waterboard you and all the things. I'm the king. I'm gonna cut off. Can I just cut off one of your fingers right now just to make it, that it makes me feel better? Uh, I'll think about it. I mean, my word is still absolute, but man. Uh, cartographer allows you to teleport between burning torches in the map window. I guess that's what we want to do. Click on a burning torch to quickly teleport it. Aha, we have this. Okay, that's a cool map, not gonna lie. Oh, rubble there. Nice. Citizens apparently up there, but of course we're gonna go over here now. Right, oh man, dodge. Just a slightly faster movement. Okay, let me clear this. Switch. Oh, what is that supposed to be? Puzzle? Hello? Huh. Who da? Do you it? Okay, so we just need maybe a bunch of boxes. Do, 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 do. Okay, that's a lot of switches. Do I have any idea what I need to do here? I need to shoot that. That's why we need the crossbow, right? So the question is, how do we get the crossbow to shoot this sign? Hmm. Don't think I missed something, right? Oh, man. My kingdom for torch! I mean, frankly, even with my broken kingdom, I would never trade in my kingdom. I'm the freaking king. How dare you? I really like the pixar, not gonna lie, by the way. Looks very, very nice. Crisp and clean, so to speak. So that. We have that. An axe. Okay, these are our materials, so to speak. Seven souls as well. Are you someone? No. So the question is, we do still have the map. Okay, for this I need bow and arrow. There's the bridge. We couldn't really progress here. So what's the plan now? Maybe here and down to the south? No, I need to hit a switch here. 
Do I have enough to... Can I talk to you now? No. Allows you to teleport. Yeah, we have the map. Cool. This thing looks so cool. I hope this is like a mini boss or so. I don't know. Maybe it's just a plant and nothing else. But it looks like it's slime that can wake up or something. Okay. Why is that? Who placed all these switches in my broken kingdom? Man, you people really got bored. No wonder you, you all died by the disease. If you just all went ahead, you know, doing switch puzzles. Okay, we need a bunch more wood and one more citizen. Okay, still can't move this. Oh, rubble. Okay, there we go. Didn't see that. Also, there's like this barrier symbol here. I wonder what that means. Oh, hello. I'm a king. I have three, probably four citizens right now. Why do I need to fight? I'm the... Oh. Oh. All right. Don't stay in the explosion. You died. Respawn. Yep, you can see from this UI element how freaking early it is. Okay, day two. Uh, okay. Okay. I'm here. Oh, there we go. All right, took a while. Well, I died there. Did we lose anything? Probably time. There's still slimes. Oh god, I'm gonna run away! I mean, technically, this seems to indicate that you could just farm these. I mean, we do know that enemies respawn anyway, so... A certain degree of farming certainly is possible. Okay, don't stand the explosions. What a surprise. <laughs> I guess I could have come up for that on my own. Oh man, again, a kingdom. Not my kingdom. Uh, another kingdom for a dodge button. Okay, I'm gonna get you. You explode. There we go. What is that? Sawmill. Turn cells into wood. Okay, I'm not gonna question how that works. I'm king. I don't know. I don't know wood. That's new citizen. Okay. Hi. I found you, citizen. Join me. Oh, there we go. Treasure. Gimme, gimme. Cool. Three mushrooms. Okay, nothing, nothing. What do we have here? Nothing as well. Do I now have enough to make this? Yeah, okay. So far very linear, but of course this is kind of the tutorial, I suppose. You can exchange life essence for wood. I mean, sure. Do I just... Can I just give you everything somehow? Why do I need to click so often? You look cool, not gonna lie, old man. <laughs> I mean, who am I to say that, right? Everyone is all... Okay, we have a bunch of wood. We have now 19 wood, so I think with that we could make this crossbow thingy, maybe? So this cleared up. Oh, we still need one more citizen. Where do I get one more citizen from, then? What did I miss? Also... Again, if you wonder why the game is so quiet, it's also incredibly quiet for me. There was also, like, um, no looping music in the main menu, for example, so <laughs> um, it stopped after, I don't know, one, two minutes. That's another thing that is just noticeable. Again, very early playtest, but beautiful pixel. Also, I like that we can just moonwalk everywhere. This is actually how we became king in the first place. We want to dance off, if anyone wonders. Okay, we need a single citizen. Zero out of four. Can we replenish them? Or maybe is that the way? Maybe I need to rest a day and that allows my citizen to work again? You know what? Let's just do next day. The king will be healed. Enemies will respawn. But that seems to be everything. Day three. I guess this is supposed to be in the full game like what changed during the days? No. Okay, we still have zero out of four citizens. The slimes. So this allows me to get more resources for the wood. Which technically, of course, is fine. Now you explode, guys. There we go. I'm gonna hit you once. But we don't need the wood. We need a citizen. So where do I get a citizen from? So these fireflies, do they mean anything? This always draws my attention. Like, we're supposed to, sh I don't know, use a different shovel there or something. So this is blocked. This is blocked. We need the crossbow. For the crossbow, I need another citizen. So again, the question is... We have a bunch of wood, but this tells me I need one citizen, so what the hell did I miss then? Is there something here? No. Bottom left. The map didn't quite update, but there's nothing here either. Okay, guys, I'm gonna explore a little bit more, because apparently I missed something. Let's go. Ah, here's some rubble. All right. Took me a while to find this. Okay, what do we have here? Aha! There is... Another survivor. I like how they all choose their own little island here to build a tent instead of just sticking together. But who am I? I was dead for 50 years, right? Oh, oh I can't talk to you. I need to interact with the sh 
sign. Okay, you joined me now, beautiful. That's, that's kind of the thing I really wish for the full game so far. Um, we pick up more citizens, and they just stand around. They are like items, right? And we are trying to rebuild this kingdom, and I really hope this gets improved like step by step and step again. But I would love to see my citizens actually walk around here and, you know, uh, look like they actually do something and work. It seems so empty right now, considering that we're literally building buildings, right? Okay, new weapon. You have received a new weapon, crossbow. Instantly. We built an entire house, you know, but our citizens are just, I don't know, used up like an item, like a resource. That, that's, that's, uh, from the atmosphere, this is really something I really hope they improve upon. But we have a crossbow, so we have three crossbow, five crossbow bolts. What happens if we run out of them? I'm honestly a little bit afraid to try out, but let's actually start here at the top. There was one thing to shoot. There's a bunch of things we can shoot at, but this is the first one we saw, right? Ah, great. Maybe I can shoot from down here. Nope, I can't. Can we teleport there? Okay, this works. Yeah, really like any kind of dodge button just to speed up exploration a little bit, a bit, a little bit because we really are super slow. Okay, this works. Cool. So what happens if I just shoot my arrows? Okay, they ah, they have a recharge time. Okay, so we can't soft lock ourselves. Good to know. <laughs> All right. What is this? Give me, give me. Lightning rod grants immunity to lightning and unlocks lightning damage. Ooh, but we need a bunch of resources for this. So more switches to shoot. For example, here on the left side. Oh, oh come on, barely out of range. There we go. Oh, this is... Are you... Okay. Ah, oh, come on. I'm pretty sure I got them right there. Okay, dip, 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 dip. Oh, shit. No, okay, now we screwed up. Oh, maybe I need to still hit the last one. That was my mistake. Okay, we have five arrows left. Come on. Why am I so bad at this? Did it, did it, did it, did it, did it. Boop, 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 boop. And there we go. Okay. Sometimes I'm just, you know, a little bit slow. Oh, great. Crossbow. Okay, could have gone better, could have gone worse. Oh no! Uh. Please don't explode. Of course you explode. Uh. Okay, crossbow power. Bop, 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 bop. Oh man, there's this one stone in the way. Okay, come on. Ah, oh, well, it does help us as well. Beautiful. What is this? Altar of life. Increase HP by five. We need two more essence. Well, that's easy. We just need to f fight a few more enemies. We could actually just rest here to make them respawn, yeah. So we don't need to travel back. Okay, let's go. Start a day. Oh, okay, of course, these guys didn't respawn. Ah, okay, we cleared this. I do like that these bonfires also seem to be associated essentially with, you know, map progression, at least, like, visually. Hey, guys, I quickly just... Can I just shoot the big guys? Come on, just... um, You guys just want to chill there? I guess this is their combat arena, and they're programmed in a way not to go, like, these two meters. I mean, plaintiffs, right? Okay, give me this real quick. So now we're gonna teleport back up here to get this. Cool. Five more HP, essentially 10% more overall. Can we do this multiple times? We can't. Out of, um, do we want to be healed? No, we don't. So we have this. I think there was nothing else. Yeah, sorry. Pressing all the buttons. Yeah. Hey guys, how you doing? Aha! Let's hope this, these resources, you know, won't be lost forever now that I cleared that rubble. And, you know what, let's check this out, playtest, right? So there's like three, I don't know, iron or stone. I'm gonna rest now for a day. So what happens to the resources? Let's find out. They're still there. Okay, cool to know. At least for now. Okay, we have multiple ways to go. I just gotta, you know, find them. Was there a switch here? Maybe. You still need something for this switch puzzle there? Memory, memory, memory. There's this thing. We hit that thing. Was there something here? No, we had that. So probably this direction then. Left and right. Oh, I forgot to guys. Yeah, they literally don't react to us if we are in here. Because this is a very small defined combat arena. Fair enough though, I guess. Okay, let's go. There's this one. Give me that. Thank you very much. Boop. Here we go. Ooh, woodcutter. Nom, nom. X workshop unlocks a new weapon axe to build kill nearby enemies. Well, that sounds easy. 
Oh, there's another thing as well. Oop, give me this. Thank you very much. I mean, cool that we can unlock these shortcuts in our kingdom, but so far it doesn't really matter because we have so many teleportation stations, right? And also our citizens don't s seem to use that either because they just disappear once we have rescued them. And what is that? Oh, we need something for that. Oh, great, dude. Can you explode? Beautiful. There's also no explosion sound. Again, early playtest. Go, go, go. Oh, got you just in time. There we go. We lit this up. So what can we do here now? Unlock weapon and skill upgrades. Ooh. But we need a bunch of resources for that. Okay. Oh, we need one more citizen and five blocks. Oh, great. All right. Guys, I'm... Oh, wait. What do we have here? Ooh, training dummies and stuff. Ah, spear workshop. Produces a spear. Also need a bunch more resources. Can't hit these training dummies. Can't do anything here. Produces a shield. Okay, here we go. Get a bunch of res- Ow! Okay, we need something, and when that shoot thing shoots, he needs to hook in. That's actually kind of cool, not gonna lie. Alright. This. There really is a lot here. Interesting. Okay, give me this. Can I interact with you? I can't. I need a magic stone. Anything here? No. Of course, my biggest enemy! Like, two- Piles of stones, or a single pile of stone, I can't cross this because I'm a king. I'm not gonna jump, you know? It's already too much to ask that I already fight and, you know, rescue my entire realm and kingdom on my own. But climbing rubble? No. This is where I draw the line. I'm not gonna climb the smallest pile of rubble. I am the king. And I will, you know, I want to run my kingdom, and then I'm gonna start the execution stuff again, and then I'm gonna live happily ever after. But I'm not gonna climb any rubble. No. Okay, I'm gonna skip ahead, guys, a little bit until we make cool more progress. See you in a second. Hey, we actually unlocked the dash charge. Yes, beautiful in space. Oh, what do I need to press? Oh, shift. Okay, fair enough. Okay. Not as far as I would have hoped, but it's still something. Hey, guys. Gonna explode. This definitely helps in traversing just that little bit, frankly. Okay, survivors there. Can I do anything with this? No. So I still need the item for that. And I guess this teaches us that we can dash through lasers. Okay, invincibility frames. Actually kind of cool, you know. You, we just got the dash and this kind of teaches us to use the mechanic without really just being on the nose. Or oh, maybe it just... Okay, maybe it just doesn't matter. But I like the idea, technically, I guess. Okay, this is like a light puzzle then. Let's go. Okay, let's just... Uh-huh. So I need to hit you. Mm-hmm. Need to hit you. I see the solution. Okay, this does not get turned then. Qu not quite. Oh, there we go. Oh, no, now I need to move you. Ah, oh, great. Okay, still not. Okay, this is one of these try and error thingies. Now there's two, maybe. No, I'm gonna skip ahead, guys. Hey, we did it by sheer try and error. I did not like this puzzle. I have nothing nice to say about this one. Just try and error until I did it. Okay. Anyway, we have a new enemy type. That's pretty cool. Oh, dash! Oh, shift! Ah, my mistake. Press space. Ah. Hit. Shoot my arrows. Okay, there we go. Uh, crossbow bolts, not arrows. But you guys know what I mean. Can you, could you please not run away? Thank you very much. Oh, man, you have a lot of HP. Beep, 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 beep. There we go. What is this? Altar of Telekinesis allows you to move heavy objects. Yes, please. Cool. Give me. Press any key. I don't know why I need to wait like two seconds. What is this? Okay, this is where we need to use the thingy. Probably here. Okay. I don't know why we threw an acorn into this, but apparently... Oh, that's maybe not an acorn. It's supposed to be like... Okay, part of a lever. Got it. So this is the way back. Okay, there we go. This is now another shortcut, which again, we technically don't need at all, because, well... We have the teleportation, right? Like every five meters. There's people here. That's kind of nice. Hello, friends. Three more resource citizens. 
And not even like thanks or so, they're just added to the inventory. Okay, this is that way. There's these guys. I guess we can just, you know, recharge our HP. Okay, let's go. Do you guys respawn? You actually do. Explosion. Hey, friend. So we still have the left side. Oh no, random spike. Can I get you into the spike? That would be funny. Come on. Hey, it does like almost no damage. Oh, where are my crossbow bolts? What the hell? Ouch! Okay, really, maybe I should dash a little bit more. That's fine. Just tank the damage. Here we go. Ooh, that looks cool. Is that an enemy thing? No, it's not. But it does look cool. Okay, you guys keep shooting. Ow. But just please don't hit. Didn't expect you to actually hit me. Alright, one, two, three. Oh, just stick at me. Okay. There we go. Alright. Oh, wait. Only three out of five enemies? There's one more. And there's a pathway up here as well. But that doesn't seem to lead anywhere. Just these random spikes here on the overworld again. What's the lore behind this? Who placed all those? Oh, I actually died. Well, my own mistake. i see you guys in a second. You have received a new weapon. Spear. All right, where's my spear? Okay, we have like one, two. Our scepter and our spear. Doesn't have this arc. Isn't maybe a speed? Hard to tell. I think the scepter is slightly faster. But with this, of course, we now have... This, well, how would spear works? Great. Okay, produce a shield. We need resources for that. I can move this. I guess I'm supposed to... That would be an idea. No, probably here. There we go. And I'm gonna shoot you. Oh, totally missed. Ah, oh, the recharge on this. Okay, that's gonna take a while. Maybe I missed another spot here. Oh, no. It's a spear thing, so it has to be on the spear, right? Oh, no. So we need something else there. Maybe the shield, actually. You know? Because the shield is here, right? So maybe we have to block this thing. And then the sh it gets us. Yeah. And maybe because it hooks into our shield, it shoots us over or something like that. That would actually be kind of cool. Not gonna lie. Okay, we can do this now. Was there actually more to the left side? I went all the way back. I don't think so yet. Um. Oh, because we need the spear symbol there. But this opens up the question, where the hell am I supposed to place you then? Was there something all the way to the right? I'm kind of afraid I'm making a mistake, but... Okay, you, I can't place you over there. So what do I need you for? What did I miss? Oh, can you... Can you please come back? Thank you very much. Okay, clearly I missed something. It's not the spear symbol, because, well, it's a spear symbol. This is a crown. But there has also been different blocks, right? So... Yeah, it also has the shit symbol, this one, of course. So I'm not quite sure where to use the crown yet, but we're gonna figure this out. There's another crown there. And this also had the crown symbol, right? Yeah. Match the symbols! Okay, I'm gonna look around a little bit more until I find the one pixel I'm supposed to go to next. I mean, given how the game has worked so far, I mean, I have a spear. There's a spear symbol here, but apparently that's wrong too. But this is how it works so far. Shield on shield, crown on crown. We have a shield, uh, a spear, so this should require us to use the spear. That's how the game taught us so far, but of course that's wrong. We need probably another shield, a uh, spear symboled block. All right, let's go further. <clears throat> oh, okay, This we switched the block Aha, uh -huh. we switched the block to a spear block, because that makes sense. I mean, there's this change symbol, but I would argue a lot of people wouldn't get this. I mean, I did this only by pure trial and error, but frankly, this is kind of what the game has been about so far. Not gonna lie, um, I like the idea of a Metroidvania, but so far it's like I get a new stuff and then I just pixel hunt the entire map of the thing I've been to before. 
and it doesn't come as natural as like in Metroidvania ga games where it just progressively uh, progressively gets more stuff and you remember stuff because you can transfer transfer uh, transfer and it feels so much better it's just like essentially it's like key cards in this game so far the spear is a key card you know the the shovel is a key card uh, it's just that same mechanic we just need different key cards and this game has like so far I don't know 10 12 different key cards which we unlock what is this Teleportation? Okay, that's cool, like another word. Okay, is there anything else I missed on the overworld, though? Not yet. Alright, we're gonna go down here. So we have an underworld. Map. Okay, also different. Boss fight. Oh, yeah! Okay, that's cool. Maybe? Or at least it's a big combat arena. Hello, little slime, how you doing? Okay, I have my spear! There we go. I like the range of the spear. Anyone else? Hello, ooh! Hello, friend. How are you doing? Boop, 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 boop. Oh, God! Oh, God! How am I supposed to... Uh, how? Get him! Down to 17 HP. Great. You explode. Give me that. Whatever that is. I want it. Oh, a little bit of HP. Nice. You explode. You explode. Fire, 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 fire. Okay, you guys do your exploding. Oh, God! Dash. We really are very combat... Experience king, not gonna lie. Got you. Okay, press the click. Press the click. Press the arrows. Come on. Oh, so bad with actually hitting something. Are you? Come on. There we go. I'm a bit of. Uh, how do I not hit him? Okay, I'm gonna switch back to the scepter. I can I actually hit the guy with my. Uh, okay. My spears just feel better. A bit of HP. Come on. No, oh, no, not these guys. Not a fan of these guys. They have such big range. At least we have the spear now. That should make it easier. Oh, great. No, great. It's gonna take a while. Dodge. Arrows. Help, dodge. Okay. Dodge. Oh, come on. Help, do, no. ah. Arrows. Okay, this is gonna take a while. Again. Ah, oh, come on, come on, dude. Don't hit me there. Okay, arrows. Take a break. I'm fine with that. Ah, oh, come on. Ah. There we go. Barely got him. Another HP. Okay. Ooh. You survived this fight, but it, it is far from being your last. The main enemy is still ahead. I can sense it. Far to the south. In an old prison. I sense the darkness and despair that it is spreading across the continent. And this darkness will not stop until it has consumed all the survivors. Save them. Save them, my king. I believe in you. Maybe I should have just stayed dead. King really is not engaged much. All hail the king. Congratulations, complete in the playtest. The full version of the game will offer you more weapons, abilities, enemies, locations, more of everything. That's good to know. Please share your thoughts on King's Grave and the survey so we can make the game better. Well, first off, it doesn't feel like a Metroidvania. It feels more like an idle game where we just unlock a key card, look through the entire map to find where we have to put in the key card and rinse and repeat. Also a little bit of with idle, like with the woodcutter resource where we have like a bunch of these enemy currency cells like yeah the dna stuff so to speak which we trade in for wood and we just need to click it like every time trade in three to one so to speak and click 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 it also feels very empty because we have the survivors as i mentioned earlier it doesn't feel like you know like we are a king and we're restoring a kingdom uh, it feels more like, you know, literally just this key card hunt. Like, okay, I, I would love to see. I finish this building. I want my people to run around in the kingdom, feel safer, you know. Uh, go to the post, like, actually work and slowly but steadily, the more we do, that this kingdom actually comes more alive. They do the buildings, they run around, they fix some fences. And I know from a technical perspective... <coughs> Sorry. And, you know, from an artistic perspective to change all these things, there's a lot of work, but that's actually the impression I got. And I think this is kind of what the game wants to convey this feeling, but it doesn't reach me whatsoever. There's also small st stuff like movement speed. We have this dish now that really helped to feel a little bit, but we also have all these teleportation things, which also kind of add right now uh, uh, with the... Uh, so it's, what I'm trying to say is if you look again at our kingdom, 
if we have so many teleportation points, we don't really need to run around and unlock these shortcuts because, well, we can just teleport and thus we can also experience our kingdom less. On the other hand, because this game is such a pixel hunt or like key card hunt, so to speak, we also don't want to run around all the same time, also with this slow movement speed, right? Also, there's nothing to experience because our people don't do less. So, yeah, um, with all of this, this feels more, to me personally, and don't take it wrong, this feels more like a... A, a publisher pitch like we made this okay now we're showing this to the publisher or something who gives us money and this is our idea and you know very very early and of course this is a play test and more content is definitely cool because I like the base mechanic. I love the pixel art. I love the atmosphere. Music, hard to tell because there was barely any music and sound. Of course, early play test that, that's missing. That's fine. Um, I like the combat idea at least, and with the king, sure, let me explore more, let me find out the secrets and, you know, see what's going on and so on, That that's cool. Yeah, like visually, very pleasing, uh, cool art direction, cool art design, very, very good. And the core idea, I think I enjoy a lot as well, but it still feels, you know, like, yeah, a very early pitch demo, so to speak. And yes, this is a playtest. But I think it's, it needs more than just more content. It's, it fe needs to feel more alive. It needs more, you know, per personality, if that makes sense. And also, it needs to feel more like a Metroidvania, if that is what they want to go for, you know. Because right now, it really feels like more like an idle game. Um, I hope this makes sense, what I'm trying to say here. Please tell me what you think of the game. Please tell me what you think of my presentation thereof. A uh, link to the game, uh, or to at least to the store page, maybe the place this is still up, is down in the description. Feel free to check it out. Stay awesome. Truly thank you for watching. And we see each other in the next video.